Where to this week? Let's head back to Scotland. Hello again, welcome back to Wars and My Fault and Whiskey Wednesday. So this week, as I said, we are heading back to Scotland for a nice scotch. Blended scotch by the name of The Woodsman. Now, I believe this is made by White McKay, who also do Jura, um, Tamavolin, Dalmore, and a couple of others. So, good pedigree, if I can get it out of the, the perforations. So, a decent pedigree. From what I remember about this, it's a blended that's designed really for mixing and, and that kind of thing. So, should be interesting. Along the lines of something more like um, Hay Club, something like that, where it's, like, it's made for mixing. So it's kind of along those lines, so I'm not expecting it to be the, the best by itself, but it should be an interesting one nevertheless. I love corks. Corks just make it sound better, don't they? It's a nice bottle as well. Glug, glug, glug. Hmm, as usual. A normal 25 mil pour. Do, do, do. Put that there so you can still see it. Okay. So I have no idea what to expect from this other than it's good as a mixer. So we'll still see. Very woody, as you'd expect, being called the woodsman. So woody kind of smell, more, I suppose like the kind of essential oils, that sort of thing. What is it? I can't remember it's called. Sandalwood, maybe? I can't think. But it's that kind of woodiness to it rather than just kind of oak. A kind of perfumey, woody sort of smell to it. Hmm. What else? There's familiar smells, but I can't think of what off the top of my head. Difficult to pin down because it's, it's, it's definitely woody kind of smells to it. Hmm. Something sweet in there, maybe kind of honey or sugary, there's something like that in there as well. Slight fruity sort of zestiness to it, and kind of like dry wood, so when I say like sandalwood, that sort of thing, it's like if you've mm, like sanded a piece of wood, not just sandalwood as the smell, but like, you know, the kind of dusty wood smells, kind of that to it as well. Yeah, quite dry smelling, interesting, but definitely some kind of sweetness, Bit of zestiness to it as well. That's interesting. Okay, how does it taste? That's an important one. Hmm. Little bit of sweetness, not a lot. Ooh, there's kind of a bite to it. A little bit of woodiness to it, but like a, a cinnamon kind of bite. So it's not like spicy, like, you know, a chili or something like that. It's more, yeah, kind of yeah, cinnamony. Cinnamony, I think the word. Yeah, more like cinnamon, definitely. What else? It's definitely spicier than I expected. Not just kind of cinnamony, it's, I guess, ginger more than garlic. It's that kind of slight natural kind of not tartness but that kind of spice that bite that you get with ginger is kind of a little bit like that as well a little bit maybe vanilla in there i think i mean just kind of yeah cinnamon is kind of like the aftertaste they get a slight kind of woodiness to the end of it it's not bad i quite like that it's not overly sweet there's it smells sweet as i said it smells dry and slightly sweet but the taste of it, it's got a slight tartness to it. Definitely has like cinnamon in the back end. You can kind of feel that bite and kind of a little bit of vanilla-y, a little bit of kind of ginger, which is unusual. It's a bit different. I quite like that. Okay. See what Masters of Malt say. And get to the right page. Okay. So, oh, there you go. White McKay it is. So, Dalmore, Jura, Tamarol and stuff like that. That's cool. Yeah, it says particularly okay for using cocktails and mixed drinks. So, there we go. So I did remember rightly. So sandalwood, honey, almond slices, and sawdust on the nose. I got some of that, so that's not too bad on the palate. Creamy vanilla, ginger root, slight grain sweetness. And finish, touch of smoke underneath spearmint and cinnamon. Spearmint, 
I guess you can have like the like I said the kind of tartness, the the kind of spice after the flavour, where it's kind of a little bit of a bite to it. I suppose that could be spearmint. Mm. Interesting. It's good to know what other people think because it taste is of course subjective, and other people may get different results when they try it. So it's interesting to see what other people notice. Go, that's the the taste or the smell that I'm thinking of, but I can't quite articulate it. So it's sometimes quite good because you may recognise it more from when you've had it before rather than what the actual thing is. So if somebody says, oh yeah, that tastes like this, you go, ah, that's where I've tasted it before. So it is quite interesting to do. Hmm, quite interesting. With just a touch of water, it changes the smell slightly. It's not so woody. Maybe it's bringing out some more kind of nuttiness to it. Interesting. That just made it more spicy. Yeah, I see what I mean by kind of it's like mint, kind of, yeah. Now that they've read it and it said kind of minty, it does have those kind of tones to the aftertaste. It's like cinnamon and it's got that bite of kind of mintiness to it. It's quite interesting. It takes out some other kind of vanilla flavour to it and it leaves the kind of spicy, yeah, I suppose minty kind of bite and sharpness to the end. It's not bad. A little bit different, yeah, that's weird, because now I think it's mint. I'm not getting any smoke, but yeah, it's just minty now. That's just weird. It's a, it's a minty whiskey. I can't get it out of my head now. Ah, damn. Right, let's go get some coffee, Pepsi, and all the other stuff, and see where we go from there. Won't be a moment. Welcome back. Not that you've been anywhere, but there you go. So, as usual, if you've not watched the channel before, what I try and do is try whiskey in various different ways to see how... Each whiskey behaves in different situations. They may have it, so obviously neat with a drop of water, have it with an ice cube, just one single spherical ice cube, have it in Coke, or in my case, Pepsi Max, I can't stand Coke, in coffee, I drink it black, so you're gonna have to make do with that. And then I also make an old fashioned, but there's not gonna be any orange peel in it because I don't tend to eat oranges. I have a bad reaction to them, so I like the flavor, but I don't tend to use oranges. And I, since I don't need them, cutting up the peel just for a cocktail would be a little bit wasteful, so I don't do that. So let's go. Again, standard 25ml UK measure. So it is always the same every time. So I put one in that. One in there. And then one in the hot black coffee. One. Two, and two for an old-fashioned. So that should be good. And there's nothing in there but ice, some bitters, and some simple syrup. And that is all. Nice and simple. So, let's give everything a little bit of a mixy mix. And I'll mix again in a moment. Give it a good chance to incorporate everything. We don't want the whiskey sinking into the bottom or floating to the top. Or anything like that, do we now? That would be wrong. So I'll give it every chance to mix up. A little bit of a rinse. Just to give it every chance. So I want to make sure that everything is incorporated well. So I'll give it the best possible chance to make it fair. Okay, so straight with the ice cube. Again, wrong type of glass really for getting much of a nose. A little bit of a smell there. A little bit woody, a little bit sweet. That's really about it. Not a lot to speak of, as we can expect anyway. Not had a lot of time to really cool it yet. Ooh. That actually opened it up a bit. That's unusual. So initially, I'm not getting the kind of sweetness and things like that. It's kind of stripped away the sweetness, as cold tends to do, I find with whiskey, it takes away the sweetness. There's more of alcohol burn, more of the kind of cinnamon spiciness in the back end. That came through quite a lot. It's more of an alcohol flavour to it, just generic alcohol burn from it. But yeah, it's, that's a lot more spicy kind of flavour. That's interesting. Quite often with a scotch, it'll just kind of strip away complexities and just leave it with just kind of like, almost like a vodka kind of flavour to it. But that, that really had much spicier, slightly woody. That's quite interesting. Not bad at all. I 
Excuse any slurping and drinking noises, can't be helped. It's not bad. So it brings the kind of spiciness and a little bit of woodiness to it. You get a, a distinctive kind of alcohol flavour. Once again, comparing it to something like Jack Daniels, it's totally different. This is a lot sweeter kind of feeling, but with the kind of slight spice to the back end of it. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It may not be quite as classic as I said Jack Daniels because bourbon will have a lot, or sorry, Tennessee whiskey has a lot more pronounced flavours and stronger flavours that they hold up against it. But that's actually not bad. That's one of the better scotches with with Coke, I must admit. Interesting. It is made for mixing, so that kind of makes sense. Okay, with coffee, and it's the same coffee I always use. I've got a bean to cup machine, so I guarantee you I'm having the same dose every time. I'm not doing it manually. I'm doing it at the same time. And I don't know if you can see. It's a mug that I've reviewed before. It's called the Ember Mug, and it has a little light that tells you when it reaches the perfect temperature for you. So I'm even having it at the same temperature every time as well. So I'm doing it as scientifically as I can, because of course that's why I'm doing it for science. Let's see. Again, slightly woodiness, as it tends to do with black coffee, I've noticed that with whiskey. Mm, it's okay. It takes some of the bitterness out of it, but plays it with kind of a woody, yeah, definitely a woody aftertaste I get from that. It's really about it, so it cuts out some of the bitterness, so it's not bad. The, mm, the kind of generic black coffee bitterness at the front end has kind of disappeared. There's a little bit of bitterness at the back, but it's more of a woody bitterness, if that makes sense. So it's it's reasonable, it's reasonable. Okay. Will it stand up to simple syrups and bitters? We shall find out shortly, won't we? Ooh. That's interesting. So initially, when I... Mm, just go to drink it just before I kind of take a sip. I get the smells coming through. You get obviously like the bitters and so on. There's definitely kind of a woodiness that surrounds it, which I wasn't expecting. It's really pronounced as well. Hmm. It cuts through the kind of sweetness, because obviously, we're even old fashioned. You get the sweetness from the simple syrup, and then you get the bitters in it. And what this has done, it's kind of taken away the sweetness, which is really, really weird. I'm not used to that. It's taken away the sweetness and added that slightly woody, kind of cinnamony spiciness to it. So it's bitter and slight spice. Not a lot, but just a little bit. But it's taken the sweetness, so it's just kind of like bitter, a little bit kind of minty spiciness, I guess. Now, see, it got mint on the mind now, since I read that. But that's, that's the kind of thing, it doesn't taste minty, but it's got that kind of fresh spice that you associate with mint, so when you have toothpaste or something, and it just kind of freshens your mouth. I'm not saying it's a minty freshness, but you know what I mean? It's that kind of spiciness that isn't spice. It's not like minty fresh, but it's, it's kind of towards the mint kind of feeling rather than kind of chilly. That's interesting. Try that again, and I'll go back down so everything's got a chance to incorporate properly. Right. There's almost no sweetness to it. That is weird. Not in a bad way, but it's not, it doesn't taste as, I guess, fruity. Usually, an old fashioned taste, yeah, there it is. There. It's more kind of like fruit and orange, that kind of thing you get from the bitters. I'm not really getting that. I'm not getting the kind of the fruit sweetness or anything like that. It is just kind of bitter, slight spice to it. Slight woody spice, I said. It's, it's hard to kind of put into words, but that's the, the best way I can really describe it. Kind of a, a woody, spicy, slight towards the mint kind of spectrum of spice. It's not bad. If you like something that's a little bit not too sweet, that's actually quite a good mix of it. That's a bit different. Again, the coffee, slight woodiness, it kind of generic for most whiskey to be honest. It gives it a slight woody flavour, takes away the bitterness, and that's about all it does. So back to Coke. Again, it doesn't add sweetness, which some do. It is just adding kind of woodiness to it, a bit like with the 
for the coffee to be honest so it's slightly woody the, the spice isn't there as much but it's just kind of like the woodiness and that sort of thing it doesn't bring a lot to the table with a cook as it's kind of settled shame but it's it's okay I, I wouldn't go out of my way to have it cooked maybe have more than like a 25 ml shot of it maybe do a double instead and that'd be a lot better for me but well that's the one it is Yeah, now I've had a chance to kind of cool and settle. Yeah, there's not as much in it anymore. There's still that slight woody spiciness at the end, and that's really about it. A little bit of alcohol kind of flavour, and then a little bit of kind of woody spice at the back end. That's really all that's kind of going for it. Not a huge amount, to be honest. Okay, back to the original. Yeah, a little bit woody, a little bit zesty. A little bit vanilla -y, that kind of thing. It's okay. Yeah, that that feels a lot spicier. There is definitely a burn. It's nice, yeah, and then a little bit kind of gingery, a little bit kind of fruitiness to the kind of sharpness in the back end. And I said that it's that kind of cinnamon woody spice at the back. Makes sense since cinnamon's made of bark anyway, in it so that actually makes a lot of sense. Cool, that was actually not bad. I quite enjoyed that. The woodsman never tried it before, not bad. Said so it is made to be a mixer, which kind of does show through there in a cocktail. It'd be interesting to see what other cocktails it works in. It does work in old fashioned, it doesn't taste like a regular old fashioned, it's a bit less that spicier. But that's quite intriguing to me. So, anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you'll join me again next time. And let me know if you've tried it, what cocktails you like it with, or whatever mixes you think it works with. Maybe ginger ale, since it's got a ginger flavour. Maybe ginger ale or ginger beer or something. It'd be interesting to find out. It'd be nice to know what you think. So please comment, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. Come back and see me next time. Bye-bye for now.